Low iron isn't just about eating more red meat. Yes, red meat is a rich source of hem iron, but that's just only part of the picture. For your body to actually use that iron, you need the right cofactors like vitamin C, for example, because it hence its absorption. Then you need copper to help transport iron into the blood and B6 and B12 to support red blood cell production. Now, obviously, you find vitamin C in capsicum, citrus fruit, strawberries. Then you can find copper. Copper in things like beef liver. Yeah, I know it's disgusting, but it's good for you. You can also find it in dark chocolate. Yeah, so it might be the better choice for you. <laughs> then we have the B vitamins. You find them again in meat, obviously, in eggs, but also in leafy greens. Now, if you want to get tested and check if your iron is low, I tell you what I tell the members of my fertility circle. Don't just test serum iron, but also ferritin, because you want to know how much you actually store of that iron. And ferritin is measuring exactly that. Now, just recently, a client came to me with a really high serum iron, but very low ferritin. And her doctor, he said, really right? Yep, that's actually low iron. We need more iron in your stores. And now he told her to supplement more with iron. And I just shook my head. That advice is not just questionable, it can potentially be dangerous. High serum iron with low ferritin can indicate an issue with iron transport or inflammation, not an iron intake problem. It's an iron uptake problem. If you push more iron into that system, it could really do more harm than good. It's not about throwing more iron at the problem. It's about understanding what's really going underneath. If you put more iron on top of this now, that can worsen oxidative stress. I said to her, let's check if you have possibly inflammation. Some of the markers that can indicate inflammation are CRP, homocysteine or liver enzymes, ALT or AST. But then again, we need to focus on getting those cofactors in so your cells actually get that iron. So copper, copper, again, liver, sunflower seeds and the chocolate, yes. Then again, vitamin C, we've mentioned that, B6, B12, again, meat, red meat and eggs. Oh, that's so good for you. And also what I didn't mention beforehand is magnesium. Magnesium, you need enough magnesium, not just for iron, just you need magnesium for literally anything and everything. So get magnesium, the dark chocolate is coming back, but pumpkin seeds are great and leafy greens. They support energy for red blood cell production and it also makes you sleep better. That video gets too long, but we also have to look at the gut and check for low stomach acid or gut inflammation. And that's it. Bye-bye.